Now, is Barry from England on the line? Yeah, Hello? hi, Alan. Yeah, and, um, yeah, thank, thanks for doing such a good job. Um, I've really enjoyed your show so far, and uh, I think you're doing a, you've done a great job in sort of filling in the gaps. You know, as a, a lot of people sort of, uh, you know, realise or can become aware of some of the agent, political agendas, yeah. um, I think you're, you know, providing a lot of good detail. And I have a question for you related to uh, some of the things you were mentioning earlier on regarding public transport. Yeah. Um, you know, recently there was something uh, about a month ago um, looking at um, uh, how the European Union has released a report saying it wants to halve the use of conventional cars in cities by 2030. Yeah. Uh, that was an EU policy paper at the end of March. Um, they're actually aiming for... Uh, bringing a, a shift away from the combustion engine in urban transport yep. um, by 2050 at the latest. Now, I'm thinking this is a really, uh, you know, we know the actual, you know, the, the final goal ultimately is to get rid of private transport for the individual entirely, yep. you know, altogether. That's Agenda 21, it's called, yeah. Yep. Exactly, yeah. So, so how exactly do you feel, you know, this will happen because it's such a major shift. In well, they're already doing it around. by they're already doing it by jacking up your tax for the cars, your insurance for the cars, the gas, the petrol prices for the the cars, and it, it, they'll do what Germany's doing too, is penalising people who even park their cars in front of their own houses. Uh, but not only that, Prince Charles also opened up a new eco village, a new community and eco village for the, the 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 middle class or upper middle class, expensive ones. And it says right in it that uh, you, can, you can put a bid in for a house here and it's, it's all eco-friendly and there's grass everywhere and flowers and all that kind of stuff. Kind of like uh, um, some of the movies we've seen on, on the Stepford Wives type of an idea, like gated communities. But it it's says part of, the thing, part of the thing in this new system is there, are, there have to be no private uh, vehicles allowed, only, only bicycles. And uh, But that's what they're giving you. It seems that's what they're such a major... Yeah. yeah, sorry, I was, I was going to say, it seems like such a major thing to happen, even over such a long period of time. Oh, believe you me, they'll get it done long long before that. They always give you these faraway times thinking, oh, I've got a long time way to go. No, no, they're already implementing it in some areas, especially across the other European countries. Germany now has towns now where you can't drive at all, and people own no cars, and others are have to copy them too. And it's all pushed through the, the United Nations, yeah, on sustainability. I spent part of the year in Denmark, in Copenhagen, and, um, you know, they've obviously, you know, introduced a very punitive tax on cars here, uh, you know, over there, and, um, and uh, you know, they're just so expensive, you know, a car can cost more than a house. Yes. But, you know, I'm thinking to bring it in a standard across the board, will some major event be necessary to justify it, or do you think they'll just bring it in in a phased way over a long period of time? They could, they, I think really it's, it's mainly through the, the cost of gasoline as they keep jacking it up and up and up and extra taxes, as I say, and insurance policies, and even penalty taxes, plus they want to track you and pay per kilometre for every mile, every kilometre you drive. Same in the US too, they're introducing the bill here too under Obama for the same thing. So the power of the purse is what they use at the end, law and the power of the purse to get what they want. And there's nothing to stop them because we don't own oil companies or the government. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And under Agenda 21, it says that no private vehicles will be allowed in the, cent- in, in the 21st century's um, modern villages and, and towns and so on. It'll be essential vehicles only, is what it says. But thanks for calling. From Hamish and myself from Ontario, Canada, it's good night to me. Your God or your God's school with you. <laughs>